<laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Um, <coughs> there's a phrase by um, Chogun Trumpa Rinpoche called spiritual materialism. And uh, personally, I've been kind of on this path of discovering myself for the last few years and been picking up some little things here and there, vipassana, kind of chanting some, enjoying kirtan, and you know, beginning my yoga practice and all these little things. But um, I'm at a phase where I'm kind of confused. I don't know if I'm doing things right. I see that there's this love that I want to give to people that I want to realize, but it's not like the jujitsu where there's felt. So there's like a clear level where you know where you're at. And I don't even know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I just feel really kind of lost. And I don't know, I'm not sure really know what the question is, but I don't know if you have any tips or any thoughts on that. So you stop? I don't think so. Yeah, you don't think so, but you stop. Oh, do I should stop. Yes, you just stop. Stop everything. Stop everything right now. Right now, you stop everything. Who is here? You stop everything right now. Who is here? Just awareness. Wow, awareness. So be aware of awareness. Means be aware. And for this, you don't need to do anything. All the other, what you described before, all the practices, you did to get something. You had the aim, right? More flexible body, or some knowledge, some level of Buddhism, whatever you wanted, something to need something. But now, for this awareness, you don't need to do anything. Therefore, I said, stop. But all these practices keep you busy. And they can keep you endlessly busy. And what's the result of it? Spiritual ego. So now you stop, just awareness is here. Wow. And it takes some practice. Hmm? I think it takes practice. Yeah, you think it takes practice because your teachers told you that you need to do something to get something, to reach something. Right, Jai? No. You may, if you like, you can do yoga practice. There's some benefit for your body. There's some benefit for your nerve system and so on. Fine. But it will not give you enlightenment. No yogi got enlightened through the practice. I don't know if I'm looking for enlightenment. Okay, you're not even looking for enlightenment. Great. You know, you mentioned happiness before. Yeah. That's what I want. 
You want happiness. It's very honest. You want happiness. But everybody in this room wants happiness. Every being wants happiness. Or is happiness. So now. Awareness is here. Now it has a feeling. Kind of, I understand what you're saying, but does it mean I am happy? Or I can just be that just because I'm understanding it. <laughs> That's how I feel. So then, if you don't enjoy, I enjoy double. Now I enjoy the apple because your awareness is here, obvious. And this awareness is also here. So I enjoy the apple. These are just concepts, conceptual thinking keeps you away from. That's what you aspire to. Happiness. Because your concept is I have to do something for it. Welcome. What's your name? Uh, Tim. Tim? Yes. Welcome. Om Shanti 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 